All right, guys, it is my favorite day, leg day. Um, when it comes to legs, from my experience to get growth and separation just to begin with is very detrimental on how you start your leg day workout. So for example, today we're starting off on the Smith machine here. We don't have a squat rack in this gym. If we did, we would start off on the squat rack, but Smith machine is still great. So I have 225 on the bar. I'm gonna rep this out for about 15 reps. And then after I'm done performing that, I'm gonna do it again, same weight for 15 reps. And I'm gonna move down to 10 repetition and then move up in weight. So I'm increasing weight every two sets and then decreasing the rep account to a point where I'm gonna go all the way down to about three reps and it's gonna be enough weight where I can get it up three times. So let's get into it first. We're gonna do a wide stance squat. There's a lot of different kinds of squats to begin with too. You got your regular, your wide, and then an even wider squat here. And then we're gonna to point our toes outward a little bit. And that's just gonna get more emphasis here on that separation and on your glutes, like I was saying before. So let's get right into it here. And for squats, to get up into this weight, you gotta get really comfortable with it. And it takes time. And we wanna go real deep. You don't have to go all the way down like people say. You wanna get right there, just like that. That is perfect. And we're doing it in a nice movement. It's easy to explode down and up. We're going at a nice pace here. Good. Make sure we're breathing, inhaling and exhaling when we're pushing up. Good. So we're going to go over here next and we're going to go into good mornings. Now for good mornings, before I start here, catch my breath a little bit. Um, these are an absolute staple workout in my leg day routine. Um, you can do a fair amount of weight with it, but if you haven't done them, you're not used to them. Get the form down, right? That is so important with anything you do in the gym is getting the form correct. You don't need to lift a ton of weight to engage and contract what we're doing. So here, get familiar with the weight first. I like to use a platform so I can get a better range of motion. Now, we're just gonna do a regular stance just like this. Now you can go a little wider. You can point your toes outward, inward, and regular, and that will hit your hamstrings a little differently here. So when you start getting more advanced, start switching things up, that's when you can start engaging those hamstrings with different stances. We're gonna start off like this. We're gonna get right up here on the back half of this platform. Come all the way down, just like that. It's like touching your toes. And you got, you're gonna feel a really, really good stretch. This is the most optimal way to engage your hamstrings. And when it, why I say that's the most optimal way is because this is what makes my hamstrings the most sore out of any exercise I'll ever do. My hamstrings, I know when I get a good hamstring workout is how sore my hamstrings are throughout the week. Good, we're gonna stop right there. We're almost ready to get right back into the squat. Remember, we're doing the same exact weight. One more set of, I'm getting around 12, 15 reps right now on this. And then we'll increase the weight on the third set. Another thing before I start this set, which is very important, people ask me all the time is, how much time should I wait in between set count? Especially when I'm supersetting like I am today. Very good question. It does matter because if I don't wait long enough, I'm getting right back into it quickly. I'm not gonna be able to perform as many reps as I'm wanting to perform, which I said around 12, 15 reps. If I jump right into it, 
my legs are a little more exhausted, not enough rest time doesn't get me better quality reps. Now, if you're in a hurry or you're trying to get more of a high intensity workout, sure, go ahead, superset it. Um, you're definitely gonna stress out your muscles just as much, but if you're trying to gain size, you wanna do quality reps, quality time under tension, quality rest. So remember, doing a wide stance, toes pointing outward, so we can get the best overall engagement on our quads and squeezing at the top on our glutes. Two more. Yeah, that last one was good. All right, and something I really like to do after I'm done performing the set is squeezing as hard as we can to engage them more, pump the blood back into the muscle, and exhaust it as much as we possibly can. And that is a big thing right there. We're going to hold that for like 10, 12 seconds, and we'll give ourselves a little more rest. We'll go right into the hamstrings again. Close stance all the way down. All the way up, we wanna make sure, again, when we're performing this, this bar is so close to my shins and my thighs. That's how close you want it to be going down and up every single time. That is key, or you're gonna engage your back too much. Two more. All right. When it comes to these two, I know a lot of people deal with like lower back pain, so this could hurt. You're not able to perform it, which is annoying because it's a good exercise. There is other ways or other workouts you can do to obviously hit your hamstrings, but what is very good is to stretch your hamstrings before you perform this. Because your hamstrings actually go all the way up into your lower back. So if you're having lower back pain, I guarantee it's because you don't stretch your hamstrings enough. So when it comes to stretching too, you wanna stretch like in the 20, 25 second rep range or a second range. And just like that, and you're gonna hold that for about, I would say 25 seconds, three or four times. But um, we're gonna move up and weigh on this next one. Um, I'm gonna throw another 45 on each side and then uh, we'll do one more set here on the hamstring curls. All right, so we are on our third workout for leg day and it's my favorite exercise on leg day, which is lunges. So right now we're gonna do a regular lunge down there and back. And we're, just, we're not gonna pair this up with any other leg workout just because lunges are very strenuous and Obviously, if you've ever done one, especially with weight on your back, you're gonna be really out of breath, just like squats. So don't need really pair anything up with it. We're gonna do like 10 reps down and back, and we're gonna keep a nice quality lunge all the way down. I see so many people lunge, and they either have too much weight on them, or they either kind of wobble, or they're unbalanced. First, you just need to do a lunge with no weight, and that's still perfectly fine. You don't need to have it weighted. I have it weighted just because it puts a lot more stress on my legs, and this is what I'm going to do to get more growth out of it. So we're gonna start like this. We're gonna bring it up on our back, and we're gonna perform about five reps each side, all the way down and back. Get myself in here. I'm usually used to a barbell but this works for today. So nice and easy, straight down, really engaging those quads. When I add more weight, I get a lot more engagement in my glutes. So if you want a little more engagement, I suggest adding more weight to this. And there's a bunch of ways we can perform 
this exercise. We can do it on the Smith machine. You can use a barbell. You can use dumbbells. At the end of the day, it all works very well. What's most effective, in my opinion, is exactly what we are doing right now. And this is really a perfect pace. You don't want to cruise through it like I see some people do. Whenever you're performing any exercise, it's easy to do our concentric really fast, but, and then we have our tire and tension really slow. You can be right in the middle where it's a perfect heavy medium. That's what we really want for lunges to get the most optimal growth out of this. So that's the first set. We'll do two more. We should do around three or four sets when it comes to the lunges. If I do less weight, I do more reps. Simple as that. All right, I'll catch you at the next leg workout. All right, so we're on our final leg day exercise, and it is a staple one, and it is the leg extensions. Now, it might seem generic, but this is one of the best ones to do on pretty much all your leg day. And I usually end with it every time, but I like to spice it up to make it even harder. So how I do that, let's see. So we're gonna move the seat back here, pretty much all the way back. And the reason being is we're actually gonna get more stress on the quads when we do this, because I'm laid back like this instead of like this. So I can kinda, they always say, try to get really in there. There's nothing wrong with that. But like I said, we're spicing it up a little differently today. So there's a decent amount of weight on here. And we wanna make sure this is right above our foot. We're gonna lean back a little bit, get our grip, and we're gonna come up. And we're gonna do seven low. And then seven high. Three, four, five, six, seven, and then seven all the way. These are called as you might know, 21s. I love doing these just because, like I said, we're gonna put more stress here on our quads. Whew, that's good. All right, let's give ourselves a second. We're gonna squeeze it out. We're gonna squeeze it out. I always do this, squeeze hard as we can, get that blood back into the quads, push it hard as we can for about 10 seconds. Good. Good, I will give it a second here and we'll perform it again. We're gonna do three sets of 21s. This time we're gonna do it a little different. First off, I had my toes in a regular stance. Now I'm gonna point them up. So I'll show you when I do that. And it's gonna even put more emphasis on my quads when I point them up to the ceiling more. And then we're gonna have them pointed outwards. So we hit it a little differently and what I like to call the teardrop. Um, if you ever notice, legs, it's got that right there. It looks really good once you get that separation on it. We're gonna really hit the teardrop of our quads here. We're gonna get right back into it by pointing our toes outward. And now my toes are pointing up. Before they were like that, now they're like that. And we're pointing outwards. Now we're really gonna get it on the inside of our quads there. Before I'm gonna do 21s again. Get it seven high. And then seven all the way. Try to control the weight and not slap it like I did. Yeah, they're on fire. Ooh. Oh, you know it's good when they're shaking and you can't feel them anymore. But now we gotta squeeze them again. Woo! Good. And I don't know if you've ever seen, uh, you know, people limp their way out of the gym. That's what we want. We really want that every single time. I see too many people not getting results because they go into the gym, do the same stuff over and over again. And that's why I'm here to show you new stuff to make it more fun. Um, so yeah, through our built wellness online program for personal training, you get access to more exercises, better nutrition, breaking through those plateaus 
And at the end of the day, you're learning more about yourself and what you can actually do as a human being to get better, not only just physically, but it helps mentally as well and builds up that confidence. This is not just, oh, being a gym rat or a gym guru. This is a lifestyle for everyone. And you need to exercise at least three times a week. The human body is made to exercise at least three times, 30 to 45 minutes. It is a necessity. It is imperative. We're going to get right back into the third workout here. And now we're going to have our toes pointed inward. And this is going to get the outside of our quads. And we're going to do 21s again. I'm going to keep my toes pointing down on this one just because it gives a little more emphasis on the outside. And we're using the outer width of this cushion here. All right, now I gotta do seven high. These are hard. Seven all the way. Ooh, that's a good squeeze. Yeah, I can't feel them. All right, let's squeeze it one more time. It is all about mind muscle connection and we're fully engaged. And that is my leg extension exercise that I live by. Save this, try this for later. And I hope you have a good leg day.